Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life. In this episode, I want to give this bag of pie add-on for Blender a try. Uh, it's basically, it's called bag of pie modifier and assets. And currently, I'm looking at the documentations. It seems like uh, from for, from my first impressions. So the bag of pie is uh, is like a way you can you can pack your geometry nodes modifier so you can have like a modifier stack with a lot of nodes and then just pack it and group it into an asset and yes uh when when i first download it so i got this zip zip files i i think i'm using the demo version of this add-on so it's a beta version when i downloaded the zip when I unzip it, there's this. There are two, two different files. There's this modifier, and there's also this uh, geo pack. And if we go inside, uh, go into Blender, we install the add-on as usual using the, using this zip modifier. And after you install the modifier, you install this uh, the geo pack. Just point into that files, the bigger files over here and the next thing uh, that I realized is <coughs> you are using uh, you can select select a pack and then you actually use a hotkey to start using it so I created this chicken house uh, earlier today and every every part of this uh, this set layout uh, is created using bugger pie and yeah you can see from the from the wall from the roof tile the fence the stair the floor and the beams so that's a uh, kind of like the obvious things that I create like th that I use right away um, I got I wanted I want to give you like I wanted to show you the process but basically there's a lot uh, you can imagine, okay, you are you are a layout artist, and normally, as an artist, you're given some sets of tools that you for you to decorate uh, your level design or like a set for animations for your three D virtual character. And this is the doc uh, the documentations that you have to study and read. And I'm just gonna actually just jump into it I think there's a lot in this add-on that uh, you can play around with you know uh, okay the, the obvious one actually if I tap V I'm currently only have one pack Mega Pi Geo, Geo pack but if I tap J I get this big list of menu to select the assets Okay, so I'll just start with the maybe using the wall. So let's let's save this as chicken house. And from my testing, the first the first one uh, that's obvious, the one that I use is actually this floor floor um, assets under architecture. So the floor seems to be giving me a floor and with Bagapai, the nice thing is that you actually have this new panel that's correspond to the modifier. So there is this geometry nodes modifier underneath, but on top of this panel that's mostly probably hidden, you have this Bagapai uh, panel that you can used to control your floor and to, to it's like a parameter to modify your floor let's see okay keep it simple for now off turn off the offset randomize a little bit so i'm creating like a floor for my chicken house for example yeah something like that this is the first thing that i uh, that's obvious for me I think 
now suddenly okay you have a lot of things happening now this deformation array yeah there's a lot the second one I realized I use is actually the the stair stair linear so if you have like a like a chicken house you want to have a second floor so you're gonna have the stair so I just gonna create that this is this is for the second floor for my chicken house the first floor I will extend it yeah, something like this maybe it's, it's a it's a two level chicken house um, and this is the fancy looking stair um, the next thing I realized when I used this the first time is that Bagapai is putting everything under this collection so it's keeping everything really tidy the floor the stair and then I also keep looking at the modifier okay everything seems pretty organized there the stair has uh, this properties panel all kind of attributes that I can I can use and modify if I want to including this type of stair like in this case if if this is like a chicken house maybe we don't want this fancy stair I just want to keep it simple yeah without rails you know maybe probably something like that okay uh, okay so that's for a start and then the next thing I I realize I have to do is actually to create a wall uh, Bagapai have this wall and I read the documentation a little bit to create a wall you need to at least have like some kind of edges and now we have a wall really tall wall and really thick as well we can adjust the thickness the height and the offset okay we don't need the offset for now but the floor uh, I mean the original objects here that I'm using is just like a simple plane I can adjust this plane from the edges let me cut that edges for now okay so we have a proper wall and I can adjust the, the placement of the wall just simply by moving the edges so it's very simple and I can extend the edges oh in this case I still I think I still have face or something let me get rid of this again for now remove this face remove these edges and I'm just gonna select a point extend this get rid of this wall recreate the wall make it thinner okay we will increase the the height of this wall maybe later um, yeah I'm just curious about, like with a lot of things here um, fence is actually maybe the one that I will use so I try that when I when I select fence assets suddenly we get this pencil tool and we are in edit mode and we are actually modifying this curve so and I start drawing and then I, I thought okay it's actually creating a fence which is really really quite 
quite interesting like a uh, yeah for our chicken house maybe we definitely need a fence um, there are a lot of options parameter I haven't tried everything but I realized there's this curve and poly either either one you can use let's delete everything for now we are still in using this drawing tool curve drawing tool I'm gonna go to the top view I will draw some fences probably like that and yeah like I said there's a lot of option here that we can use to adjust this fence uh, cool okay remember by the way like for everything that you created it's actually a geometry nodes underneath this can be pretty huge you can actually study these uh, geometry nodes setup and then you can perhaps make your own modifications or if you want to make something similar if it's like a stair okay you, what's something that looks like a stair and then you can modify and make your own and then pack it into into a bug up high geo assets or something i haven't tried any of that but for now we just keep it hidden so as a layout artist so you normally you don't think inside this until, until you actually need it so it's like if you are using other software like houdini maya now we are actually using blender to have this kind of ability i think it's really quite powerful so let's see the one that i use next is actually tile because when i use tile okay right suddenly we have this like a yeah like for a roof rooftop kind of thing so we can use this tile for something uh, let me check this okay repetition okay okay oh well, the angle of the tile uh, for now I just gonna rotate this manually so RX so I'm rotating this RZ 90 for our chicken house yeah probably probably something like this no need to be too perfect for now RZ 180 nothing seems to be holding our roof at the moment so there is no uh, no base or whatsoever but this should be okay for now I guess yeah maybe we need some kind of beam so J create a we don't need cable beam let's create a beam so we only have a single beam at the moment this looks like something that's uh, inside like a car park or a garage and then you know like normally you have this metal beam but we only have a single one uh, only single beam why how do we extend it so with my logic you can see here with the bugger pie we, we also have uh, array line grid circle you know it's pretty obvious and intuitive I will use grid so now with the grid array okay I'm still under beam so there's a bugger pie modifier also have stack on top of the this uh, geometry nodes modifier and we have array so we can create multiple beam maybe for our chicken house we don't need too many beams just something to hold our second floor together I don't know I'm just making this you know like uh, just giving this a try 
this makes more sense right you have beam beam to hold your second floor if you are creating like a like a car park you can also use this beam okay this is uh, our chicken house um, if I'm not wrong Is a chicken house normally okay maybe you want to have like a ground and i thought okay let me show you this ground floor i don't know maybe maybe you know you need this maybe not but i will just show you. Subdivide. Yeah, okay. You can see here. Uh, the Bugapai asset is smart enough to use this modifier and then it has this texture, it's setting setting up everything for you. Right? So it's pretty cool. We have the ground now, we have this wall. And everything is built on it has uh, you know Bugapai modifier with all Bugapai properties. And then it's using this geometry nodes modifier. So if we have like this wall and Currently, the wall doesn't have any windows. So maybe you want to have some windows. You want to make a Boolean cut, right? So maybe in this case, let's say we want to make a cut. Uh, so I'm using this box as an example. This box is going to be Boolean cutter for our chicken house one two three four I tap M create new collection call it cutter and with this wall which is already generated using um, bugapai modifier I will add my own boolean cutter using collections and then cutter and yeah it should cut a window for our simple chicken house i actually i i saw this kind of uh chicken house at some point in my life so it's, i'm using that as a reference if you go to some farm areas you probably familiar with this kind of chicken house design okay they, this one uh, there's something funky with the with the with the that wall anyway so yeah so far this is what we got seems still pretty manageable right everything's pretty clean so we can have like an animations inside this chicken house put some chickens here maybe with a cage do we have magapai cage if not then maybe your uh, developer artist will create a new assets for for the for the animators or something like a cage yeah currently okay the uh, the bugapai doesn't have it doesn't come with material from what I know from from these assets so probably for the materials at the moment uh, I have this Sanctus library Sanctus library and so this is probably that we, something that we can use because it has a lot of things as well over here like uh, for example concrete I can apply material uh, switching to cycles okay we need to use cycles 
for the concrete materials and yeah it's applied right away and then for this metal for example metal beams which one can we use rusty smart metal apply material so with the beam we need to assign the material there so beam and an array so everything is very clean is it already assigned oh smart metal okay makes sense now the wood uh wood material Can I use the basic for now? Just apply material. So we have the stair. Stair actually, you can see there's a lot of uh, different parts. Just gonna try so assigning that. It's, uh, handrail. We don't have handrail. Ballister, stringer. Okay, there's stringer. The floor. We don't have the sand send material but for now I think we don't need to do everything but at least I I have shown you some basics usage of this uh, bag of pie add-on so there's a lot uh, I guess uh, with the documentation you can read about it and find out more if you want to give it a try, I think the demo is available at the moment. Um, so uh, with the geo, with the geo assets, I believe it's a. You might need to pay for the geo pack. Uh, I don't know for the demo at the moment, but maybe at some point it's gonna be open source as well. It, uh, I don't know how it's gonna work. But uh, there's a lot here that I haven't tried. It has this scattering tools as well that I haven't used. So apart from these assets, column tiles, column, column give you a column. I haven't tried this. Yeah, simple column with all kind of control, similar. Yeah, similar to the beam. And also you can use array like, like maybe like circle array circular array so when you create it this yeah you, it cr it's creating this array and then you have this all kind of parameter that you can adjust at the same time you can also modify from here radius ring offset distance etc so it's all corresponding to the geo notes modifier it, you can hide when you're working you you can be just with a 3d scene and with a bugapi modifier for everything you selected you can still modify as you need it's pretty handy So I guess yeah, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I want to show you with this video. Maybe, maybe I should revisit this uh, again in the, in another video. I wanna, I really want to get into this bugger uh, pie. The the way we can, we can kind of set up an assets and then pack it, pack it into, uh, you know, like a pack that you can pass around into your artist and then you just uh, yeah, you can keep everything clean like you can see here underneath these collections uh, we have, of course this cutter everything is un inside bugger pie um, the floor stair fence tiles yeah so everything is really really tidy and organized I, I like that kind of workflow so if you are in a small 
animation studios maybe under 10 people you can yeah you can really make everything uh, tidy this way you know okay look at this look at this fence right the fence have different material and yeah you can assign different material this way and it's gonna update the wood I, I'm just gonna I'm curious just wanna give uh, generic wood apply material to this guy okay this this wooden material we can use okay, wooden material I don't know what this object for maybe for other things these uh, I haven't used okay things like scattering I, I'm curious about this scattering and IV so we can have like multiple assets I believe and we can scatter things like trees things like that sand we have sand material ground food stylus effects water building experimental experimental dirt okay apply material we get dirt dirt actually have displacement <laughs> dirt have displacement in itself crazy material there keep it basic I just want to have a simple material for the ground now we have the planet yeah the next thing we want is probably give it a proper light sky texture I don't have nice sky texture but Oh, it's really really bright sun elevation I'll make it night time we have sun and some point light yeah that's for the for the lighting artist to use but for now I think should be enough so your your layout artist should get used to bug pie modifier in order for this to to work for your studio I believe I must like a single person artist in my studio <laughs> my YouTube studio but in your case Your layout artist will be pretty pleased with this kind of setup. So that's a uh, that's the chicken house. We just need to put some chicken here. We have a uh, space for our chicken. So that's uh, basically my quick look at this bugger pie add-on. I haven't touched everything. There's a lot. I have to read the documentation first. Um, yeah, but it's a really, really powerful add-on. I definitely, this is something that I really, uh, I will put some investment on this because uh, like Santos library as well, I, I, I paid for this add-on. It's really handy and useful. I always use this mat uh, material. I don't have hundreds of material, but uh, this, this comes with hundreds of material and I use this all the time. Uh, yeah, this also comes with the assets like furniture. Oh, I don't know. This is really cool. Sanctus add-on actually comes with a lot of things as well. <laughs> I haven't tried this. Yeah, okay. It makes a cupcake. So, yeah. It's kind of things that I will definitely use uh, with a 
with a 3D uh, animations. Like, you want to have project, you need to have all the tools. Like, Bagapai, Sanctus Library, uh, everything is, you know, keeps everything handy. And the next thing I want to look into, maybe like, like a character rig and character assets, uh, presets, or like a way to organize a character if you have more than a single character. But if you want to make like a short animations as with a single character and a few basic assets, you can already create it. This um, you got all the tools basically um, for you to create your own animations. Okay. So anyway, hopefully this is useful. So again, it's Bugapie, uh from who is the creator of Bugapai? I really like this add-on. Antoine Bagatini, Laura Mercado. Okay, very powerful, powerful add-on. Uh, I will take a look, maybe make another video talking about more advanced features. Um, but yeah, give it a try. Hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.